With the invention of immune-suppressing drugs, we're now able to transplant all sorts of things from donor bodies. Livers, hearts, connective tissue, corneas, lungs. But the limitation now is the amount of donors available. There are over 100,000 people on the national transplant waiting list, and the vast majority are waiting for a kidney. So it would be big business to perfect a kidney that doesn't require a human donor, like a pig. Advancements in gene editing means that pigs can now be grown altered, so their organs are less foreign to a human body's immune system. The main problem has been that pig meat, for lack of a better term, has a surface protein called alpha-gal that our immune systems recognize as an invader. Now, there are gene-edited pigs that have the alpha-gal protein knocked out, among other edits, so that their parts can be implanted into humans without the same risk of rejection. So far, at least six Americans have received either an edited pig heart or kidney, and each time they are surviving longer and longer. Currently, 67-year-old Tim Andrews has survived the longest, still kicking with his pig kidney for more than six months. Which might not seem that impressive, but as the process is improved and refined, it could buy recipients more time to qualify for a human organ. For more on this and other stories making sense of public health, download Health Wanted where you get your podcasts or stream on YouTube at WABEATL.